Welcome back guys. So today we're going to take a real quick look at a brand new product for the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. And that's going to be the ultimate cooling fan kit. Pretty sweet stuff. So this might look familiar to you guys. And what it is, is a modified new version of the dual fan heat sink made specifically for the Pi 3B Plus, can be used for the standard Pi 3 or the Pi 2 as well, but it is redesigned to be able to be used properly on the 3B Plus. So today we're gonna take a closer look at it, see how it differs from the previous version, and then also take a look at some temperature tests so you guys can get a good idea what kind of results you can expect from this. So let's go ahead, dive up close, take a look at what comes in the package, and then show some temperature results. Let's do it. Okay guys, so here is the package. Comes with your dual fan heat sink, a copper heat sink for the RAM, and then another little heat sink there. Pretty standard packaging, nothing to write home about. And in that packaging, this is what you get. And with this heat sink, as you can see, I'll compare it to the previous version. It is a little smaller, missing that gap in the middle. Um, kind of squeezed together to accommodate the Pi 3B Plus uh, power over Ethernet to be able to cover every chip on this to get the best heat, you know, cooling possible. So it also comes with a couple different um, pads to stick it to the, the Pi. You get a thicker thermal tape and then a thinner one, which is what I had installed when I was testing this. So pretty simple to install. Just make sure you're over this way, lined up, and it fits nicely in there. Pretty good stuff. Um, here's an old version that I have with the heat sink already in there. You can use the same acrylic case or any, pretty much any other case that it'll fit in. A lot of them work like the Nest Pi and whatnot. Um, and it also does come with a little instruction manual, ultimate dual cooling fan for the Pi 3. Shows you different configurations on how to install it, uh, depending upon if you have a B plus or the standard Pi 3B pretty good stuff. So if you're using the B plus, the Pi 3 B plus, you would put the other little heat sink there. If you're using a standard Pi 3, you would just push it over and the heat sink would cover everything on the top there. So pretty good stuff. So to install this, pretty simple. Plug it into the GPIO as such. It shows you in the little manual exactly how to do that. So the important thing with this product is the results that you're going to get. So what I did was, is I ran a test for about an hour without a heat sink and then an hour with just this dual fan heat sink. Did not put any other heat sinks on any of the other chips. Bare and then just like this, uh, you know, setup right here. So for about an hour, what I did was is I ran my 256 gigabyte PlayStation only image. Um, and I played Dead or Alive for the PlayStation 1. I backed out a couple times, scrolled through the attract mode menus, went back into the game. So I kind of would play for about 15, 20 minutes, back out, scroll through the menu, go back in, play the game some more. And I repeated that for both tests. So without a heat sink at all, what we got was a range of between 53 degrees Celsius, which is 127 degrees Fahrenheit, to 59 degrees Celsius, which is also, uh, it's gonna be 138 degrees Fahrenheit. So a little range there, getting a little hot. My ambient room temperature for both of these tests was around 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So not much of a difference as far as the room temperature. Now with the ultimate cooling fan kit, the range that I got for that hour of testing was 42 degrees Celsius, which is 107 Fahrenheit up to 46 degrees Celsius, which, which is 114 degrees Fahrenheit. So nice little cooling there for that test. Obviously the temperatures may differ depending on what you are doing, how much you are taxing your system, but to have, you know, between a 20 to 24 degree drop off of cooling for using just this dual fan heat sink is pretty good to me. I live in a climate where it gets pretty darn hot and that does affect my system when I am using it. 
Uh, so I've always looked for what's the best solution to cool my Raspberry Pi, especially when I'm working on images or other projects. And I've got a lot of them I'm currently working on. So it's definitely beneficial for me to have a good cooling solution. And I think this is great. So I've switched over to the Pi 3B Plus. I don't even really use the standard Pi 3 anymore. Um, and I'm glad that this came out. So I'm going to be using this for all my builds, for all my projects. If you guys are interested, I'll have a link in the description for this dual fan heat sink. It's currently around 12, 13 bucks or so. I don't think that's too crazy for what you're getting here. Um, and like I said, most cases will work for it or work with it. Just make sure you have the clearance for it to fit. It fits in a lot of them like the Nest Pie and whatnot, but definitely make sure that it's gonna fit before you buy another case for it. So really do appreciate you guys stopping in. Smash that like button if you could. Follow me on Twitter. Do all that awesome stuff. Subscribe. And with that said, I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Boom.